Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here at Casey Urban Farm. And I do realize I probably haven't done an introduction before. My name is Christina and I am the driving force behind everything that you see in these videos. So I have several things going on today, including making lasagna and getting some plant starts going. So let's get started. So when I make lasagna, I don't normally pre-boil the pasta but Libby has asked if I could have it pre-cooked so that it's not el dante, which is how we usually have it. I guess her teeth are still bugging her from her uh, bracket issue last week with her braces. I'm making individual lasagnas in bread pans, so I'm gonna start with breaking all of my pasta in half to make it more manageable. So these are cooked to the point that I want them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lift them out into a pan until I'm ready to start assembling. You know, I do have a pair of tongs. There, we'll use those. We're just going to use the water that um, I just cooked the lasagna in and then do about three cups of rotini for her. I'm going to cut slices. I do not pre-cook these, I just layer them raw. I'm then going to slice one can of medium black olives. I'm going to cut up two bell peppers into fairly small chunks and put them in a saucepan that has a little bit of water boiling because I do not use a lot of oil in our cooking and so that is my method for sauteing things. And I'm going to finally dice an onion. So I have some store-bought mushrooms that are pre-sliced and I'm just gonna go ahead and dice them down into slightly smaller chunks. I don't pre-cook these, I just set them to the side and then add it in. I'm going to assemble Libby's first. Since she has the rotini, oh, and I'm, going to, I'm just going to put a small layer of the rotini, a ladle of the sauce over it, that up a little bit. Hers to be vegetarian, so she's not going to have any meat. So that means she will be using mushrooms as a substitute black olives. So Libby is one that does not like ricotta and so I'm just using uh, just the Walmart brand small curd cottage cheese in hers. And I just kind of make a thin layer. So using Walmart brand mozzarella and I just do a small layer on that another layer of the rotini. So this is actually enough to cover dinner and several lunches for her. And Libby's is assembled. And now I'm going to assemble Sersha's. I start with a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the pan. And then I just start layering the noodles. So he has opted to have 
um, a meat substitute. So this is Morning Star um, chorizo crumbles. Some fresh spinach from Walmart. And shred a little bit of that in there. Oh, he wanted some of the peppers and onions and the black olives. This is a little bit of the cottage cheese mixed in with the ricotta. Okay. And then some mozzarella. And then another layer. Before I put the mozzarella on, I'm going to do one more layer of the pasta. Press it in a little bit. Layer of mozzarella and then herbs. Making lasagna tonight is also part of my meal planning for the week, and so I'm making a larger casserole along with the individual ones. And here is the big one that is going to be for meal prep this next week. I will cook it and then go ahead and put it in the freezer for future dinner. So I ended up with enough pasta sauce left over to make another dinner. So I went ahead and labeled a freezer bag and I have my funnel. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour that leftover sauce into this bag, pop it in the freezer, and then I can have it for a future dinner. I'm also adding in the leftover sauteed peppers and onions. What I did not show was how to make this pasta sauce. I do have a can of Walmart Petite Diced Tomatoes, and then I just used a bunch of dehydrated ones along with some of my peppers and onions as well. And I ground them up to season the tomato sauce with. Go ahead and squeeze as much of the air out as you can. Usually lay them flat in the freezer like this. It doesn't take up a lot of room, as you can see. And when I pull it out, I can either thaw it in the fridge, in some cold water, or I can cut the bag and peel it away and then just drop the entire frozen um, disc of pasta sauce into a pot and start heating it up. So here we have the four different lasagnas assembled and ready to go into the oven. Right, let's get them cooked and I'm sure everyone here is ready for dinner. All right, so the lasagnas just came out of the oven and they are nice and steaming hot. It is going to go into the freezer and be for uh, a future dinner. And then here are the individual ones. Liberty had wanted one made out of the uh, vegetable rotini. Sarah wanted one that had the soy riso and extra ricotta that has just a little bit of everything in it. So that was our project for the day, making lasagna.